BBC Radio Devon. It's BBC Radio Devon Fits back tomorrow morning uh, from 10 and, of course, this afternoon a bit more fits on BBC Radio Devon from 3 o'clock. Now... Are you and your family into video gaming? Now, I, you know, I've got to confess that it is one of my ways of unwinding. I've got a lot of friends who are maybe video game journalists and things like that. Uh, certainly more so than my wife and daughter, although occasionally a bit of Mario Kart does make it onto the telly. Well, this week, uh, Exeter-based IT journalist and author uh, Andy Robertson is running a session in the city's YMCA for parents and teachers and carers called Taming Gaming. It's also the title of a book that he's written on the subject, and he joins us now. Andy, it's a concern for many, isn't it? Too much time spent gaming and computers. How much, you know, is it possible to say how much is too much? Good morning. Hello, yeah. I mean, that's the question that I think most parents ask me, because that would, that would, if, if someone could say this is, this is how much a particular child should have, it would make the sort of problem go away in, in parents' minds. But it's, it's like any media, really. It's not really about how long the child is doing it or the adult's doing it. It's really about what they're doing So, and also the context in what they're playing. So it's a little bit more complicated than just saying, oh, two hours is, is fine, but three isn't. So, sorry, I can't, I can't, can't oh. give you an easy answer. Well, I, th- I thought we were going to be done and dusted and that was going to be it. You just, <laughs> say 20 minutes and that's, there we go. Now, is, is there a difference? Now, I've noticed this. So one of my friends, I was talking to him a, a week or so ago, and he was saying that, you know, him and his son are as thick as thieves playing some video games. And I guess me and my daughter probably enjoy it a bit more than my wife does. So is there a difference between the attitudes between mums and dads? I think I mean, it's easier to generalise, isn't it? But I do, I do see that. Um, I think the dads that I speak to either have played games a bit more themselves, because historically it has been more of a male sort of hobby, and are a bit more offhand about it. Whereas I think maybe mums are kind of paying a bit more attention to the, the effect they think it's having in other areas of life. And so they're, they're the ones that really got me to write the book. I spoke to a lot, a lot of mums who said, who would say, you know, I'm a good mum. I know how to I know how to parent my my boys often. But when it comes to games, I feel on the back foot. And some of them would say, and I feel like I'm losing them to these video games and I don't know what mm. to do. And so the book is designed to, 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 to sort of get rid of some of that fear, some of the headlines that you read, and actually equip parents to sort of be empowered to, to play a role in, in the video games that their children play, like they do in other parts of their children's lives. I mean, the video gaming industry has kind of shifted its attention. There are far more kind of female-focused games now as well, aren't there? Yeah, there are. And if you look at the stats, you know, games are played pretty much 50-50 by male, female um, and also the age. You know, most people think games are, are generally played by younger people. But the average age of gamers is, is something like 35 and it's rising all the time. So in different ways as well, often we think about games as on a console. Obviously, there's lots of different ways to play games. So I think really, as any as like any new media, as it's maturing, it's becoming something that everybody is enjoying. Um, and although we like to categorise ourselves as are we a gamer or not a gamer, actually that, that kind of you know, criteria doesn't make sense anymore. I mean, the industry as a whole is huge, isn't it? It spends, is it more money than Hollywood now? I can't remember, it's billions and billions of dollars that are spent in gaming. Yeah, in terms of revenue, if you added up music and film together, that would be about what what games turn over. So it, it's re- it is really big. And I think that does feed into why it's important for parents to understand games that their children are playing, rather than just think, oh, they're fine, I'll let them get on with it in their bedroom. Because it's a big industry, and you know, games are made to make money, and so we need to understand that. And the way they make money is, is different to how other things have made money. You know, they, they're often free, for instance, to build a very big audience and then sell very small items to that audience. And as a parent, you, you, know, you need to be there to help guide your child to say, is that good value or not? Which brings us neatly to your, your talk and your, your information exchange. So where are you doing it and, and when? So it'll be on Belmont Church in Exeter uh, on Wednesday, and it's a 6.30 um, for 7 o'clock start in the evening. Uh, and I think there are still, the, the, the tickets are going quite fast, but I think there's still some available. And you, you, it's worth checking, but you should be able to turn up on the day and just sort of pay, pay on the door. And I'm really looking forward to that, which comes out of the support the YMCA have, have, have given my book, because it's a crowdfunded book, and they're one of the supporters. And so part of that is, is offering um, this, a session to sort of talk about this issue. And I find that you know, once you get going, people are really keen to, to talk about it. And if you give them some positive ways of handling it in the home or in, diff- in their community, um, then they, they go away you know, less worried about it. Brilliant. Andy, thank you so much for your time. It is something which we could talk about forever and ever. Uh, But 
it's, it's time to continue that discussion, obviously, on Wednesday. Andy Robertson there, and uh, more details, of course, you can find out online about that. We'll update the news and travel for you soon. After this, Grace, on any of that, give Gal a call this